I'm Brian Bach, president of Bach Steam Star, and we are once again here in the worldwide filming headquarters in Olathe, Kansas. But today our topic is going to be why do carpets lose tension? Okay, uh, it's kind. Of, there's several reasons. I want to cover a few. I want to talk about a few tools that that we use in restretching carpets. Okay, in 20 years of doing this, this is frankly a service that we've been forced into because we see so much of it and there's so much need to it so but why is that today uh, there's several reasons okay and it's not always the installation okay and I, I want to preface this there are many fine carpet installation companies there's very fine craftsmen out there uh, sadly though kinda like carpet cleaners there's a lot of bad ones and that's one of the biggest culprits we see and uh, what I want to zone into today is proper carpet installation from when it's new in the first place okay any carpet can lay there for a year and not buckle a year or two and that's what we see the carpets were installed maybe a year to three years ago and then I started to see a little bit of buckling in the walkways which makes sense because that's where all the traffic is and it's gonna start showing up in the traffic patterns first because that's where you're putting pressure against that stretch okay but as that carpet loosens okay it doesn't hold its stretch anymore uh, one reason that carpets lose tension is because maybe the new carpet that was installed is higher than the existing baseboards. Okay, carpets will lose stretch over time. That's normal. Okay, but it loses it under the wall. So it moves underneath the wall and it relieves the pressure there. If your carpets are up higher and now it has to relieve tension over time, it can't move the walls out of the way. Okay, so it has to stretch back against the wall and it can't and then all of a sudden we've got waves so catch a wave cue the old the Beach Boys song right uh, so at that point the carpets need to be restretched okay what I have here is called a knee kicker okay this is an assist tool this is not a stretching tool okay according to the carpet and rug institutes carpet installation standard carpets should be power stretched and that's what I have here this is a mechanical tool and the poles extend okay, all the way the length of a room and it will wedge against one side of the room. Okay? And with leverage, then it moves those poles, moving that carpet towards that wall. And these are designed to be assist tools to help the, the installer hook it onto the tack strip. Okay? Shaquille O'Neal could not kick enough pressure in these big spans of rooms okay, into a corner pulling buckles out of this far corner. And the bigger the room, the more torque it's going to take on that carpet to stretch it. Okay, so you need tools. Okay, maybe a small closet can be kicked in. Okay, a self-standing car uh, or stairs. Obviously, it may be hard to use tools. We understand that. But sadly, during the, biz the building boom, I think a lot of builders were in such a rush to get these some of these things done that. The guys were flying around, and don't feel bad, it happened at my own house. Okay, I caught the guy out there installing the carpets at 12 o'clock at night in the dark uh, with just some lights that he had set up, and sure enough, two years into it, my own carpets were doing this, and we had told them, hey, make sure we get a bit of power to stretch well. So it can happen. Um, but the Carpet and Rug Institute says it is mandatory for a power stretcher to be used. So at Box Steam Star, that's one of the things we're doing. When you hire us to restretch your carpets, okay, our motto, our mission is to only offer you the best. Okay? So yes, you'll see these tools. You should also see these tools as well. Okay? So we're getting proper tension. It takes longer to use these. It takes more money to go out and buy these. These things are not inexpensive. Okay? So naturally, you're going to pay a little bit more to have it done right. But the result will be that your carpets maintain that, that tension. Okay, that's why we can guarantee ours longer. Okay, um, so that's one big big reason is poor installation from the get go. Okay, another one is that maybe the carpets are flawed. We hear that a lot. I think my carpet was was you know is defective. The reality is the carpet mills do a great job with quality control today, and there can be some delamination issues. Some latex in the glue wasn't cured right. 
Maybe the backing structures have come apart, we call that delamination, and then it won't hold stretch. So that can be one, although that's very, very rare. Uh, most of the time, it's either it was stretched fine, it could have been a power stretched and done everything right. If your carpets were up too high, then it's not going to hold tension and you just have to understand that you're going to stretch those carpets periodically. Okay? I don't know, every, every house is a little bit different. Uh, or it can just be that maybe they were installed real quick by a, someone who wasn't a real professional or a craftsman in their field. So at Box Team Star, if you hire us, uh, we will stretch it. It's convenient. We can stretch it and then we can clean it. Okay, that's not mandatory. We can clean it, then stretch it. There's cases either way on how that works. So whatever's more convenient to you. Generally speaking, we prefer to clean carpet that is nice and tight. So we'll clean it, and then if it needs stretching later, uh, we can come back and do that as well. Let me address that topic. Maybe some of you out there had your carpets cleaned, and after maybe a few hours after they're, they're gone, the carpets then start to wave. What's happening there? The carpet cleaners are not damaging your carpet. Okay, water, what happens is heat. The carpet expands and contracts just like your sidewalk or driveway does. So when you raise the temperature of that carpet, if your carpet's just laying there and has lost its proper tension, okay, it's going to want to expand. And guess what? It can't move the walls out of the way. So it has to relieve that pressure back into the room. Again, the bigger the rooms, the more prevalent we see this. So we get a frantic call from a, from a customer saying, oh, you cleaned my carpets, and now they're waving all over the place. Okay? That presents itself during cleaning, but is not caused by cleaning. And the fix is you need to have the carpets stretched sometimes, most of the time, and I, probably 99% of the time, if you wait a couple days, they just sit back down. But it's a sign that those carpets have lost tension and they need to be properly power stretched. If your carpet is tight on all four walls, it's not going to move during the cleaning process. Okay? It's not that you know, water is not going to dissolve the glue that's in the backing. It's impossible. I could have that glue and put it in a bucket of water and walk away for weeks. It's not going to dissolve it. Okay? So it would need some type of really strong solvent to break down glue. So carpet cleaning cannot cause carpets to buckle. Okay, it may present itself during the cleaning process, but it, it is not the cause. So if you need this done, we're happy to come out and give you a, a free estimate on it. Uh, talk to the guys while they're there at the house cleaning, and they can give you a bid at that time on what it would cost to stretch the carpet. For tuning in today, and give us a call at Box Team Star at 913-438-7767. Have a great day. God bless.